and welcome to Patty's Cakes. So today we decided we're going to kind of roll back a little bit and um, what I've been noticing lately is seeing pictures of people posting, you know, and, and uh, their family birthdays and all that stuff and they're always leaving the cake in the pan. <laughs> so we thought we would do it this time and leaving a cake in a pan and um, Mom's gonna do do one. I'm gonna do. She's hers is pink. I'll do mine in blue, and just so you can see how quick they are and um, how easy it is to make them look gorgeous. So we've already crumb coated, and now I'm gonna do light blue. I'm gonna start with my light blue. You've got yours. Mm-hmm. I'll and have so pink. We'll the my cake is strawberry, and so I'll go ahead and finish my pink on here and these are very simple um, but you still hopefully you you want to get your husband or you want to check your your uh, stoves and make sure that your your oven is level sometimes you know you'll get higher on one side than the other so you can still make it in the pan and make it attractive and still have fun with it but um, just make sure that you start off with a level oven. I had started this at home and then we decided, well, we'll just go ahead and um, do the frosting up here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and um, with the pink. And then we'll go around the edge and then we'll just put a, a little saying on it, happy birthday, someone. and. Uh, we'll just finish up the cake real quick and easy. And there is there's no problem in leaving it in the pan. And it is a little tricky when you do decide you're going to venture out and, and prepare the board and tip it over. And, you know, at some time we will bring the whole thing. Um, why we hadn't done that in the beginning is the best time to do that is after you've let it uh, cool just for a little bit in your pan. It's still a little warm when you do tip it. So that was why we, we hadn't done that here, was being able to catch it at the right time to tip it out on the board. But um, you'll get brave and go ahead and do that. I'm going to save a little bit of my frosting so I can just make a little edge around here like we do on the cakes that we put out on the board. Baleen's about ready to do her edging too. I'm going to put my little deal so I can switch. Um, oops, my edge. And the other thing I think when we were talking about whether they leave the um, leaving it in the pan is that fear of it sticking to sticking in the pan so just make sure you're generous with your your uh, when you grease some flour your your pan because rarely ever does it stick until you get a get a big cake pan and then that then you want to use parchment paper on the bottom of it just to because then when it comes out then it you can just peel the parchment paper off because trust me, I've gotten stuck like that before, losing a big cake that I was working on to flip it out, so. And I'm just going to put enough in here to go around the edge. I will save some of it for, I'm gonna deepen the color of this pink and Make a few little roses on here and the happy birthday saying. Oops. But believe me, this is the way everyone begins, is your pancakes. I'm using the, the little um, star on here. This is number 32 Wilton. And if you don't have anything like this, in one of our segments, we told you about cutting the corner of a, a baggie mm -hmm. and um, going ahead and, and um, 
even if you had just the round hole, you could, um, by using a motion that just dipping and pulling, dipping and pulling, you could make a nice edging on here. But um, these are, what do, you, what do you think these are, dollar something? Yeah, usually, no. yeah. They're so not, if you they're just pretty inexpensive. Get so. a, a couple that you would use a lot. It, it's worth, it's worth the money. So I hope you can, well, we'll tip up here as soon as um, we're through here. But we're just, you know, here's that dipping and pulling that we're talking about. And it's just making a, a few little humps in the She's the dipping frosting. and pulling and I'm making circles, so. Oh, okay. Just to be different. But when, when we're at home and we're doing these, these are bloops, and they, we have other names for these here when we're at home, so. Well, I was trying to remember with the, um, when we were working on sugar cookies. We made a gazillion sugar cookies for Valentine's Day. And we were putting, using the white as lace, and mom coming up with her, it's like, it's, what was it? Wiki wiki. Yeah. yeah. Wiki, <laughs> you know, wiki, you, wiki. you grab one of these, you know, it'll make a kind of a, a wiki wiki motion here. <laughs> and so we, it's unusual that I, I told you the number on there because it's really a name. <laughs> <laughs> then it'll go back. Remember when we were teaching you wiki wiki? <laughs> yeah. Or bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> So all we're doing is just kind of adding a little prettiness to this cake. It's have quite enough in just there. Just make it a little. Oh, that's pretty. I like your circles. So is I'm going to add a little bit of more pink. Yeah. <laughs> Consume I, think, tight. <laughs> I think we need to break just, just for a minute. ready to go ahead and add a deeper color to my pink and um, what are you up to? I'm watching you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually what, um, because this is so um, incredibly simple and easy, um, I'm going to stick, um, I think I'll do my writing first, I think it'll be easier, but these little guys, you can get them you, you see them just about anywhere in box stores and, and wherever. Um, they're just little little candies that you can put on your your cakes. And um, and so that's what I'm going to do. These are little bumblebees. And, um, and I'm just going to write happy birthday on here first. And then I'm going to make all these cute little lines and stuff with the little zigzaggies with the bumblebees flying around. And that would be it. where hers is just a little bit more intricate. And then I have the black here. I can't decide if I want to do my writing first or do my bumblebees first, because I want to. I'm going to add a little black I've to that for my mine writing. a little bit deeper. Do you think that'll be OK on that? Oh, that's pretty. And we tag team a lot for ideas. <laughs> Just that. 
extra bag right there and the these things the bloopers here's how you can buy the larger set didn't yeah. was it this all in one yeah mine's about half that size you can get what they call starter kits and and definitely add to it and or you can buy them just singly if you do get into it, the, the ones that you're going to need a lot are these little round ones. And they, they come in a little set all by themselves. If you're working with outlining stuff, you're going to want three or four of these in bags like this. So you're not continually going from one color to the next. You'll have all of them set up. So that's worth getting more of those round ones. Yeah, definitely use a lot of the, a lot of these. I just, when we were sorting through and determining what we were going to use, I realized I have like four of one size. But those are the ones you use the most of, so it works out. I left my pink in here from, from uh, going around the edge because I'm going to make a few flowers on here. Just the lay down version not they're not going to be up they're just uh, kind of half half roses so I'm not concerned that some of the pink is still in here I will I have two rose petals one is the large and one is smaller so I'm just gonna go ahead and Start with the, the large one, and then I'll just fill in here and there with the small one. I have also have green. And I will just um, use this to go ahead and um, make, make some um, uh, the stems coming down. And then I'll also use it for some leaves. So I have the round one. We use this a lot. We've, we made a cake once and we had little bees on it. So we thought, oh, we have these tiny ones. And so I, I liked her little dot, dot, dots, these little bees looking like they're going in circles here and there. So we thought she's got to do that one. What are you looking for? There we go. Writing oh. one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where I did with that other one that I had. So okay, it. I'm just going to start here. What I want is just to come here and kind of come down because in here I'm going to be writing. So I'm just going to make some lines through here. I'm writing happy birthday just so I know where um, I can set my bees. And I will change here and make, no, I'll go ahead and, and write my um, happy birthday. Yours is just happy birthday? Yeah. I'm going to put happy birthday mom because mine's pink. This table's a little high for me, so I'm going to scrunch up here. Okay, so now. I'm going to play with the beans. Place them in different places, and then I'm going to make these little squigglies all over. Let's see. Do, do, 
these guys and see if I want to put more in there. And so now what I want to do is make <clears throat> the bumblebee trails. And so I have a very small hole tip here and I'm just going to make little dots behind them so that they look like they fly kind of crazy. It doesn't really get a little. And I'm going to change my tip for the leaves. Then I'll be working back and forth with the leaves and the roses. And the rose is, I'm simply going up over and just make a big loop around there. This is just, just a little practice here and there. Just keep going around like that. It's hard to, I guess, to uh, tell someone how to do this. It's, uh, I just started making these half ones by myself. I didn't read up on it or anything, but it's, it's just the motion of just pushing and then wrapping around, um, trying to visualize what a rose would look like if it were cut in half. And you're just pushing up and pulling back, and, and all the time you've got pressure on your, your tip. Pushing and wrapping it around and then your big long one for the top. And then as I go along, I just kind of deciding where I want to place these. There's no rhyme or reason. Something that looks kind of cool and fun as they're zipping around your cake. Now I'm going to change my tip to the little one before I run out of frosting. So here I have a smaller tip, just like this larger one, and I'm just going to fill in here and there with um, the small roses. This is the green, it's the leaf um, pattern on the end. I'm just going to tip them here and there just covering that bottom part of the rose. In the same motion, only it's coming out smaller. And all you're doing is filling in here and there. Just all the colors. No rhyme, no reason. Let's see. Now I just about used up all of my pink. And I've got a little bit on the end here. These little deals poke up. Direction is this guy flying? I think I will stop there and 
fill in a little bit more with the green. How are you doing there? Just about done here. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> something more. Okay, let's be weird and put just to get some color around the edge. This is just a um, these little decorating. I think I've Oops. Covered all of them. Kind of like little hard candies. They're like pearl, pearl black. So I'm just gonna drop them in the my swirls just to add something to it. You done? Uh-huh. I think Dang, so. you're fast. I thought mine would Did be. Do you see? Do you see anything? I, th I think I've, I've gotten everything on there that I, I wanted. See, up, up in here, you can see where I started off with the pink that, uh, when I did my trim, and then, then it went into lighter and lighter, and then it, there was my dark. It, it doesn't matter. I, I just didn't want to uh, change the tip, and you can just use up your frostings like that. Can you drop it? Oh, they keep rolling. Keep poking it in there, and it gets stuck. Frosting everywhere. So and I'm anyway, sure you've you seen all of these little, uh, like there's ladybugs, there's different little uh, things in the cake departments of the grocery stores, and they're, they're just so darn cute. So just no, pop those all over your cake. They're, inexpensive, and they're uh, yeah. very inexpensive, yeah. And I like the way you had two different colors in your writing, too. You started off light. Yeah, because it ended up dark down I there. I added the, some uh, black to that blue because I wanted something. I didn't want it black, black. So. Oh. So anyway, this is what we got. So we have two of them. Very fast, very quick, and you don't have to worry about popping it out on, t tipping it over. So you can, you can still pretty up these pancakes and then move on to something bigger. But yeah, these, I think these are both nice. Yep. And so that will do it for this edition of Patty Patty's cake. Cakes. Patty's Cakes. I always yeah. want to say Patty Cakes. Yeah. Patty's <laughs> Cakes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See you next time.